Hello, my name is Teacher Eduardo, and welcome to yet another video tutorial on um, by yours truly, really. And as you can probably see from your computer screens, we're going to do a video tutorial on Facebook today. And more precisely, we're going to do a video tutorial on Facebook groups. Now, more precisely than that, we're going to do a video tutorial on Facebook groups and how to upload files but you probably already know how to do that so we're gonna do a video tutorial on Facebook groups and how to upload files and more importantly how to update the revisions of those files meaning not to have multiple copies of the same thing I'm gonna show you how to do that how to update the files you have uploaded without multiplying those copies okay so let's go out here well obviously we need a file with information Right, so I did a, you know, a random file thing, majig with words and sentences and punctuation and whatnot. So here it is. Um, nothing really special, just to prove the point. Now, well, I've already saved this. Now, um, I'm using LibreOffice, by the way. I'm not using Microsoft Word, but that's okay because I could also save to DocX format which is the format that we're going after today. So uh, here in the top I can see my my file name uh, that's video tutorial one dot docx dot com so that's that's the format that I want. Great so uh, and I've put this in my uh, uh, computer uh, desktop. Okay so what we need to do now is now, now that I have my file ready uh, I need to upload it. So I think that's a fairly standard procedure for everybody so I'll just highlight here that you have this other option. Uh, if you have a Dropbox account, uh, you can uh, connect them. And if you have connected that to Facebook, uh, you can click on that uh, little Choose File button. And that'll open up your Dropbox folder. Uh, from that, you can select any of your files to upload. Now, uh, if you haven't connected those two accounts, the Dropbox and Facebook, and you want to, uh, just even so, click on that Choose File button. Um, you'll get the the just follow those steps that you'll get and um, it'll hook you up but today we're not gonna do that we're gonna go the old-fashioned way actually we're going to select a file from the hard drive yeah that's kinda going out of style but we're gonna still do that we're gonna we're gonna go to the hard drive so uh, I'm gonna click on that choose file on the left and uh, here I am there's my video tutorial file and I'm gonna go ahead and open that now uh, I can see that I have the file name right there so that confirms plus if I had made an, uh, uh, any mistakes in selecting a file I can also click on that little X remove it choose file again select a new one I'm good to go now also as good manners as you know a way of being polite I just I don't want to just upload the file I wanna include a message as brief as it might be but just put something out there you know for everybody hey this is a file at least you know so let's go ahead and do that um, let's let's type in something like hey everyone um, here is the file with the info you were asking about great okay so now we got a short message there to let everybody know we got our file so let's go ahead and post this and uh, as it uploads great so um, okay so the links that we have here below I think everybody might be familiar with those standard Facebook links for liking commenting on following and you know, all those kind of things what we're interested in here in this video tutorial is the links immediately below the title of the file these three links and eventually four those are the ones we're gonna be uh, interested in let's go ahead and go with the first one here preview so I think everybody might be also familiar with this. You can see what's in the file. Now, uh, so it's a way of opening it. We can't edit. We can only see it. But uh, that's that's fairly good uh, up to this point. Now, um, ju just a, an added bonus here, uh, if in case you haven't used it, when working with very long files, you know, 20, 30, 40 pages long, and you're looking for that bit of information, that small phrase, uh, you know go ahead and use that find function that you have here just to prove the point if I'm looking for have in this document and I want to know how many times I, it's there I could just go ahead uh, write it click on that uh, spying glass or or press enter on my keyboard and boom there you go so I have it two times plus it gives it in context so I get a fraction of the sentence 
uh, here and here and I also get it highlighted here and here so I know and it's color coded so the one that's highlighted is blue the one that's not highlighted that's uh, yellow so uh, it gives me a very good idea of you know how how the word is working within the document that's a really cool function uh, and it can save you that that very simple procedure can can save you a world of pain when uh, working with very big files uh, right so you have some uh, download link and uh, click on that file menu to get some uh, standard uh, options that uh, probably everybody's familiar with and that are might be worth exploring so that's it for this. Uh, let's click it. Let's uh, close it here and uh, we're back on the group. Okay, so I'm going to have to do a bit of role playing here. Let's say that somebody else came on and saw the file. They previewed it and said, well, great. You know, great. Um, thanks for the share. Uh, however, the information uh, needs to be formatted okay so I uh, I log back a couple of minutes couple of hours later and uh, I see them at comments so okay so now I have some stuff to do I need to format the information I need to you know put the bowls italics uh, fonts and all that stuff so let's go back here to the original and um, so let's work the magic here um, let's go ahead and do that let's bring it bigger the subtitles should also be fairly big a slightly different um, font so I have two different fonts here uh, let's go for a third one um, probably don't want to do this normally but uh, just to prove the point here for today I'll keep the times Roman and in fact I'll I'll italicize um, for real this time yeah we'll add some new information and this needs to be bulleted uh, there's a link okay great and um, I think we're good oh, okay you know sometimes it's important to highlight so let's go ahead and highlight the second line because you know that seems important and uh, so uh, so it looks much much better than it did before now we got we got a big old title there we got subtitles three different font, four different fonts we got a yellow highlight we got italics we got normal so we got a variety of formatting uh, uh, options here let's go ahead and save that okay good so it's saved to my desktop so now I need to update my revision here okay I'm gonna do it quickly here both ways what we normally do to see what happens and then we'll do it the new way or the way that uh, I, I want you guys to know to, to, to know how to do so the old way first the old way is to go ahead and click on add and select the file again because I saved it so this is the new revision now uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and select that open and go something like here is the file with the chain I'm, I'm gonna post this uh, message so we can differentiate between this one and the previous one so okay we're good I need to upload and so okay so let's just confirm that in fact the changes were made and or were, were uploaded to the group so let's go preview and there we go come on don't let me down there it is okay so there's the new format um, there's my new bit of info italics highlight everything is there great but notice we have the one below that so now we have a duplicate let's preview that too oh that's the uh, that's the old one and that's a new one so that's no good now if it's not really a matter of caring about space because uh, Facebook will give you infinite space pretty much um, it's more about being organized and not getting mixed up with version numbers and copies and all that that's really the purpose here so this is really bad for that because imagine five months down the line and then you want to go back to this file and you know oh my god what version was it then you're clicking on preview about in about five or ten different uh, files that you uploaded because you had to make five or ten different changes so that's really bad uh, so Facebook does not relate these two files in any way shape or form so this is one individual post 
this is a completely different one so that is how Facebook treats them totally different what we want to do is to tell Facebook hey you know what these two things are linked they're actually part of the same thing it's just an evolution of the information so this is not the way to go this is the old way so what I'm gonna have to do here actually is delete the the new post because I need to update the old one so we're gonna go ahead and delete um, there it goes so we're back to the original one this is the original post that I did uh, just confirming let's preview great there it is so that's with no changes so what I want to do is I want to update this I want to upload a revision is what I want to do so I'm gonna go ahead and click the upload revision link it brings up this little box I can put a message on there we're gonna hold on to that uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and select the file so this is my file with the update I click open and now I will uh, write a message now Facebook here is helping us a bit in, in in asking what's new in this version okay so what I will do is um, uh, I have changed the formatting of the file added italics and um, hold on italics a bullet list and um, well a highlight was yeah okay so I basically described I basically answered the question what's new in this version and there's my answer to that question uh, you know that's one way of doing it uh, you could write anything else but that, just to keep it really controlled so I'm gonna gonna go and save that and there we go so now we have uh, updated the version and notice how we just have one post we don't have two posts like before we only have the one and look at that I have that the message that I just wrote is in this post now let's let's analyze this this these uh, bits of information we have here so uh, me I have uploaded a new a new version that's important so you want to look at that a new version of and then it gives you the file name uh, then the message I wrote the t the file again preview yada 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 oh look at that history now the file is developing a history of activity let's preview it first there it is Th those are the the changes that I made so we're good now uh, let's go ahead and click on history so what that's gonna do is it's uh, think of like opening the history of the file so it's gonna uh, unfold it so what what that's gonna do is it's gonna give you all of the posts related to that file because you were updating the revisions to that file so here I have notice the name of the file and at the end version 1 so uh, there's the, the original comment that I wrote and there's the original comment that I got to update it and here is version 2 and there's my original message post and uh, if I preview I can preview this and this and I'll get those versions um, if I need to upload a new version I can go ahead and click upload new version and I will get a version 3 right I can go back to my uh, here uh, to my main wall and I can upload also a new version from here let's let's upload just very very quick here um, I know what I'll do I'll I'll copy paste there okay not that great that's better so let's save it saved so what I want to do is I want to upload another version still so I'm gonna go ahead once again upload revision select my file and I'm seeing doubles okay just to identify the post okay there again we're only seeing one post I'm not seeing three different posts I'm seeing three only one because I'm telling through this link I'm telling Facebook hey you know what this new post I'm gonna do is related to this previous post so Facebook is now connecting those links and creating them as a history of posts and if you look at the history it has three 
So I can click on that link and I'll get the three different posts. And if I go um, if I go to this preview, I get the original with no format. Here I'm going to get with the formatting and here I'm going to get it with doubles. Uh, let's go back to the original. Well, this one really. Let's preview it. This is what I uploaded last. And there I have the doubles. So notice what we're doing here. We're not creating multiple copies or in a sense we are, but we're telling Facebook, hey, these copies of these files, they're connected. So please show them as one unified post. And, uh, and what Facebook does is that. It just shows you the last post only. If you want to see the previous post related to that file, just click on the history link and you can see those previous posts version and, and clearly highlights version 1, version 2, 3 uh, and, and how many versions you might have. Here you also have, you want to look here to the right, you could link, you can uh, access those uh, previews from here as well and you can also download each and every one of them if necessary. If you want to recover information from past versions that at some point you decided to delete and then uh, you know not delete you can recover it that's fine so you could access your files okay from here you could download it from there you could uh, go to history and download the versions from there you also remember have this file link up on top and from here you can also access their files and its versions right so um, that's pretty much it um, a, a much more efficient way of getting updates to your files whenever you work with uh, files and groups and, um, and and just being a little more efficient like I said uh, with uh, with those uploads so that's gonna be it for today guys um, hope this one's uh, very useful for you and uh, it helps you to um, be a bit more organized in your in your posts See you next time.